Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna look at how I helped Mark with his fiberglass hot tub refurbishment. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so not all of the projects that I do are new designs and new builds. However, this project was more of a hybrid between a refurb and a, an actual new custom design. So Mark got in touch because he has a swimming pool and a hot tub in his home that's about 20 years old. Now the swimming pool was in great shape, but as you can see behind me here, the hot tub had certainly seen better days. Now what Mark wanted to do was remove this fiberglass hot tub and replace it with a concrete poured tub. However, he wanted to use most of the plumbing that was already in situ for his pool. So it was an overflow hot tub into the pool and all of the plumbing was in place. So the, the return lines, the jet, the air, all of that was on the pool pad outside. The pipes were already underneath his garden. So really we wanted to redesign what was going on in the hot tub, but keeping you know, the, the elements of the, uh, the original now, before I move on and explain the process that we went through, always a great opportunity to say, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos just like this every single week and a whole bunch of shorts as well. Everything on my channel focuses around DIY hot tubs, plunge pools, air source heat pumps and pretty much everything in between. Okay, so the first step for Mark was obviously to remove that fiberglass tub. And as you can see behind me, he did that. However, once it was removed, he did have to dig down and he needed about an extra foot. I think it was a foot, a foot and a half, because not only did he need to pour a base that was gonna be strong enough to, to hold the actual body of water, he actually wanted to make it a bit deeper as well, in you know, the tub in general, that is. So after digging down, it was time to actually pour the base. And as you can see behind me, what Mark's done is he's put the, the membrane down. This is just a, a barrier to keep dirty water ingress out of the tub. It doesn't help with the waterproofing or, or anything like that. He's got his rebar in the base and he's ready to pour his base. Now, after the base had cured, the next stage was to form up the actual lower seats or the, the bottom part of the seat. Now, rather than go through lots of individual photos here, behind me, you can see a, a montage of this process. The key takeaway here is you must really brace your forms. Concrete is heavy, so wood will bend. It's got to be braced. If you don't brace it, you're not gonna end up with nice perpendicular walls. You're gonna have walls that have got bends in. So lots of bracing, please, when you are forming up for a concrete pour. Now, I should have added that Mark actually put some of the plumbing in place for the lower parts of the seats as well. And after he had done that, and again, the concrete had cured for the bottom of the seat, he finished off the upper plumbing and you can see behind me the actual Hartford loops that we've added to the plumbing design. Now, one of the issues with the previous tub was when the pumps actually stopped overnight, for example, the hot tub would drain back into the pool. So it's a, an overflow hot tub. It takes water from the pool, puts it into the hot tub and then it overflows. However, what was happening was because the hot tub was slightly higher than the pool, the return lines, so the, the lines that were taking the water from the pool and putting it in the hot tub, the water was going the wrong way and it was actually draining out of the return lines back into the pool. We didn't want that to happen, so what we've done with these Hartford loops here is to make sure that the Hartford loop goes up over the water line. It's gonna sit above the, the water on the top of the seat there and it will stop any water traveling the wrong way down the lines. Now, we could also achieve this with a one-way valve, for example, but I always prefer to rely on gravity rather than a piece of plastic to make sure that water goes 
the right way and it actually stays in the tub. With all of the plumbing finished and Mark actually pressure tested it as well, so nice job Mark. Now it was time to actually form up the top of the seats and do the main pour. And you can see behind me here, this was quite a big pour that Mark has done. And again, there's loads of bracing in there because concrete is heavy and we want nice perpendicular walls. We don't want walls with bends in. So brace, 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 and more bracing, please, when you are forming up concrete walls. One of the features that Mark wanted to add to his concrete hot tub was a slide. So we wanted a slide for the grandkids. And previously there were two kind of overflow, we'll call them dipping pools. He didn't really use them. So his idea was to do away with those and actually replace it with a slide that his grandkids would uh, make use of. So as you can see behind me, He's forming up the slide and ingenious use here of a lilo to help keep everything in place and the slide, everything else is really coming together. So now it was a waiting game. We had to wait for all of the concrete to cure. Once it cured, it was time to add the waterproofing layer. Now, what Mark didn't do was use a cementitious waterproofing agent. So he had to pull back his tiles just to make sure that he had the right coat on. Uh, and this is what you can see behind me here. The tiles have been removed and he's coated with that cementitious waterproofing agent. And now he's ready for his finished surface. And he, of course, can put those tiles back. And here we have it. This is what the finished product looked like without any water. But obviously without any water is no good. So here we go. Grandkids and all, you can see that it's absolutely fantastic. Mark's super pleased with the result. I'm really impressed. Mark, you did a great job. And I'm sure the family will absolutely love the hot tub. Now, can I help you with your own DIY hot tub project? If I can, please get in touch, whether it's custom designs, normal designs, part supply, problems, you name it, I'm certainly here to help. So please do get in touch. As always, I appreciate the view. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.